good morning, Culture Buzz. Shalom. Welcome to the Benjamini Center for Contemporary Ceramics. My name is Marcel Klein. I'm the director. I was born in South Africa and I've lived in Israel since 1976. Um, so I welcome you. Come inside and uh, meet the curator of the exhibition, Ayelet Zohar. Uh, come inside. Hello, this is Culture Buzz, Shalom. My name is Ayelet Zohar. I was born in Israel, in Tel Aviv. I live now in Haifa, in the north. Um, I graduated from the Slade School in Fine Art in London, so uh, my English is pretty good. And I'm the curator of this exhibition. Welcome you to come and join us to this visit. Here's the catalog for the exhibition, and I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting information inside the catalog. The subject of this exhibition, called Smashing, is about the fragility and the deconstruction of the ceramic material. I'm not a potter and I have no experience whatsoever with working with clay. However, I was invited by the Benimini Ceramic Center to create this exhibition and my starting point was rather casual of the user of ceramics, asking myself, what happens when a cup is just dropped from your hand onto the floor, smashes and scatters around. And therefore, my starting point was about these fragments and the situation of the smashed object. Is it going directly to the bin or is there another possibility, another option which is encompassed into fragments scattered over the floor? So this exhibition explores the possibility. We start with the first collection series of works by German artist Martin Klimas, who created a very complex uh, structure of towers and cameras linked to um, voice devices to enable him to catch the very fracture, the very fragment of time when the um, porcelain object smashes over to the, to the floor. So Klimas actually documented a series of images at this very moment that we're never able to see. We either know of the full object, the complete object, or we can see the fragments scattered, but it's very difficult to see the actual moment of scattering. And so Klimas effort was taken into this uh, moment, this very moment when the upper part is still full and complete and the lower part is already scattered and smashed. And he brings to us this very interesting collection of pieces of the scattered objects. In the same spirit, Hatakeya Manaoya, a Japanese photographer, is going into the blast into the smashing moment of the rock of soil. In certain ways, going to Hatakea, my work was about looking into the heolic, the very primary material of clay, the soil, because clay is soil mixed with water, then becoming mud, then becoming elastic material that you can mold into any shape you want to. So Hatakeyama series, which looks into the possibility of the blast and the scattering of the pieces of stones becoming dust at the very end, is a work that gives us this experience of the blow and what happens there. The video work by Tami Shoer, an Israeli artist who lives in the Galilee, is a very different one, who looks at the broken vessel, the broken plate or cup, from a point of view of compassion, of sadness, of looking at the fragility of the object as something we should look into in a more careful way, rather than take the broken cup and put it into the bin, give it a second thought, second moment of relish and wash it carefully, give it like a small ceremony before it departs to its end. And in the same spirit, at the other gels object of 
broken paper jars she created over glass and pottery jars and then she tore them off experiencing this lightness, this fragility, this nothingness of the object and all gathered together and linked to another object which is basket-like containing fragments of real pottery and porcelain, she created this balance between something very light and something heavier, both indicating the fragility of life and our experience. We must go upstairs, so let's go there. is being activated by the viewer, by the walking into the space. Plates, jars, cups falling to the floor, then being swept into the bin. This is the work of Neil Cummings and Marcia Lovendovskaya, which created this very unpleasant sound installation, which is being activated by the viewer. In a manner quite different, we look at two archaeological objects that were very carefully, very delicately restored from the fragments collected in an archaeological site to become the full jars they are now. This exhibition moves between the two ends of smashing and falling and fragmenting into the very careful and very slow and very painstaking process of creating the jar from its small pieces to become what it is. Here's another work by Magdalena Hefetz, who is looking at a piece of a jar which she handles as if it was a complete work of art that she glazed again and fired again and created to become a sculptural object versus the primary um, piece that we were looking at. And another project which I have created, the pieces of different figurines, porcelain figurines, are attached together to create chimeras, to create objects that contain the history and the memory of the object previously existing to create a new context and a new possibility. And finally, Now over the rooftop of the gallery where there is another installation which looks like a dry garden in a Japanese style and the garden itself was created by numerous discarded objects that were smashed to the floor. We also used some tiles coming from a demolition site and we received some discarded uh, pottery fragments from the antiquity authority, which they didn't use anymore, and the whole scene is creating a scene of demolish, of ruins, of past, of something that lost its existence, and therefore the name for this, this piece relates to something about the past of this country and the dryness and the remains of history of different times and different aspects. Thank you.